I have now played the beta when it comes to Modern Warfare 2022, both some on the PS5 and of course during the open beta as well on PC, which is my main platform. I therefore want to take the opportunity to say thank you to Activision Nordic for sending me early access codes for this beta. My overall impression of the game is positive so far, however there is one thing that was very clear after these days of beta playing, the bunny hopping or jump shooting in the upcoming Modern Warfare 2 game has to be looked into. In some matches a majority of players were jumping around corners or on the map as a whole in order to hopefully take advantage of the ping situation or the fact that you can still aim down sight when jumping and shooting and the accuracy seems intact as well, also when hip firing during the bunny hops. This has to be changed in my opinion, either by not being able to aim down sight when actually jumping and shooting at the same time or and decreasing accuracy when hip firing doing the same meaning jumping and shooting. Now you might argue and say that bunny hopping isn't something that is new in Call of Duty and that is of course true. However, I've never seen it being exploited this much, especially if I compare with the last Infinity War title which was Modern Warfare 2019. We can go back all the way to COD 4 to see people actually jumping and shooting, but if I remember it correctly, you were slightly punished doing so since you became a bit slower after taking that jump. So why has bunny hopping become such a thing in the Modern Warfare 2 beta? Well, it has to do with the fact that many COD players are used to be able to run and gun while jumping and slide cancelling without so much hassle in previous titles. Infinity War decided to change that at least when it comes to not being able to slide cancel which I personally don't see as a huge problem in the game so far. But according to some players calling themselves aggressive players they are forced as they say to abuse the bunny hopping if they're gonna be able to counter players that are playing more on the defense side of things. Especially since you have a slower time to get out of sprint and getting your gun up in order to shoot again. I can understand this point of view to a certain degree, but if we look into the changes of certain gameplay mechanics in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, it's pretty obvious that Infinity Ward wants people to play guns up and ready more than sprinting or in jumping around corners as in previous titles. I said that since they for example brought back dolphin dive into the game, which I like, but they made it so that you can't shoot immediately after landing. There's a split second before you're able to actually fire your gun, which I think makes sense. With that said, I believe that you should not be able to bunny hop and at the same time being able to scope in, meaning aim down sight, keeping full accuracy. The jump shoot mechanics make more sense for me at least in an arena shooter, thinking about Quake as an example or a fast paced partly parkour shooter as Dirty Bomb that I used to play a lot back in the days where the jumping and shooting is a huge part of the actual movement and gameplay pattern and mechanics. But shouldn't you then be able to play Modern Warfare 2 the way you like, meaning using different playstyles? Either or both a more aggressive rush playstyle alongside with a more tactical approach where you play it a bit slower. For me the answer is yes, but I also understand that it's hard for the developers, in this case Infinity Ward, to find a middle ground here that will please the masses or both sides if you will or a majority of players. There has to be some kind of sacrifices or at least some kind of equalization or compensation. Personally, I don't have a problem with the Call of Duty game this year that is more designed towards a partly slower playstyle, where you sometimes have to pre-aim corners in order to not get killed before moving into the next area. Or as in this video, me playing with a 50 cal sniper without any attachments at all, so I do have to think even more about checking corners, pre-aiming and not rushing too much into the hotspots if I want to stay alive. I do hope Infinity Ward come up with something good here, since I don't believe that it'll be good for the game in the long run if this is how it's gonna be after the full game has been released. Because besides this, I haven't really found so many more warning flags if you, if you will. Sure the stuns are too strong or the effect lasts too long and they need to look into drop off damage when it comes to certain weapons and yes, I'm not too fond of how the menu is designed overall. But besides that, I've had some fun days of playing the beta and I therefore think and feel that we're about to get a better COD game compared to what we've seen previous years. Let me know your thoughts as well when it comes to this topic and let's hope for the best when the game releases in about a month from now. If you're new to my channel and if you'd like to watch a variety of games when it comes to both AAA games and indie games, also checking out how all the titles are doing once in a while, then feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos coming up in the nearby future. Thanks a lot for watching and have a beautiful day. 
Later.